I'm Avon. I'm Kate. And I'm Sonya. Today we're dishing with you from Mitsitum Cafe, which is located in the Smithsonian's National Museum of the American Indian. That's right, we're right here inside the museum, and we're here after hours, and you could be too, because the museum has a special three-course prefix menu with some of these items. There's some great things. These are some of the appetizer options. This is a venison and pheasant uh, meat thing with a, uh, a cherry sauce in honor of the cherry blossoms, and these are uh, some little... Fishes. The largest sardines I've ever seen, <laughs> I think, ever in my life. Um, and But you know what? This sounds really, really good. A buffalo and duck burger. And the Check way out, it was explained was just so good with the folding in of yummy. Check out this whole baked bass and the pumpkin seed tamal. These are just things that maybe they might have eaten. The American Indians might have eaten. I think maybe it's all inspired not, by the American Indians. But you Indian will be diet. eating them if you come for a pre-theater menu right here at Mitzi Tum Cafe. And today our guest is Scott McKenzie, who is the producing artistic director of Capital Fringe and a new program that you're doing or a new show that you're doing called Wattage. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about what we're going to see in this performance piece. Can I call it a performance piece or? Sure. Uh, there's, there's four of them actually. Okay. So Wattage is a program of Capital Fringe, which also does the Capital Fringe Festival, which we're most well known for. Um, the tagline for Wattage is New Theater, Illuminating Tradition and Survival. Oh, illuminating. Okay. Yes. That's the Wattage part of it. The Wattage part. So that's the theme of uh, the shows that we present and produce for Wattage. And some people call it a mini festival, some people call it a performance series. We just call it Wattage. And uh, one of the shows, is, the title is Run Through the Unquiet Mind. And that is a show that I'm responsible for. Uh, leading a creative team uh, in the devising of that piece. So it's, a, it's an ensemble driven, created, and devised uh, world premiere work of theater. I really don't know what that is. Yeah, I'm, I'm still thrown. Like, okay. what, what is, you know, is, what you, is this going to be some sort of like performance, arty sort of experience, or is this improv? What kind of theater? Is there a storyline? Oh. Right. Uh, yeah, well, not to wattage per se, but the, to each of the individual shows, there's mm -hmm. definitely a storyline. So uh, there's one show, which I already mentioned, Run Through the Unquiet Mind, which mm -hmm. is created and performed by the group The Rootstock Field, of which I am the artistic director and founder. Um, and then there are three other shows. One is uh, uh, called Capsule 33, and that's being performed by Thaddeus Phillips, who's a Philadelphia-based artist. Uh, with the company Lucidity Suitcase Intercontinental. <laughs> so, okay, let me stop There's you. So I think in order to be a part of Wattage, you have to have, like, the most creative <laughs> yeah. mind ever. Yeah, like, you can't hold back. This is not <clears throat> called, like, you know, the DuPont Circle Player Dancers. They're wow. Right. Hey. Come up with, like, a big... I'm, I'm not <laughs> knocking their... Not I'm to there, knock like, the DuPont Circle yeah. Player Dancers. I don't dancers. think we have one of those, but actually. I, but, so, so is that... Is Capsule Sci-Fi? What? Capsule 33? It's sort of science fiction. Um, futuristic. Okay. So it's a one-man show. So, in addition to my show, the three other shows are all solo performances. Oh, okay. Uh, you have Thaddeus Phillips doing Capsule 33, and it takes place in um, a capsule hotel in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. You're familiar with those Those hotels? are just small hotels. You Places can take a you nap. Can, you can't fit into like, those. Like, you mean, no, I yeah, you're right. I mean, <laughs> so you'd have to go to see this in order to experience it. Yes, yeah, definitely, can't experience definitely. Because yourself. I can't fit in a capsule. <laughs> well, right, yeah. You, <laughs> you, might, you might need to. Um, <laughs> so, he plays a character that he's created who's a, a, a Czech-born uh, scientist who's living and working in Tokyo. And it's the last night in the life of this hotel. They're going to knock it down in the morning, and he does not want to leave. So he's sort of protesting and facing the end of the world, if you will, uh, as he spends the night oh, in this hotel. That sounds good. And he has a rubber ducky, and he has, like, Fruit Loops and various breakfast foods that he's, he's fond of. <laughs> that's so. I mean, that's so. I, I'm, I'm still. I'm like. I'm thrown in a sense by how creative. Literally, you have to, to wrap my head around how. Why Fruit Loops versus crisp? You know, Crispix or Chex. That or, is the. You know what I mean? Like, that there, is the director's vision. Yeah, there's, yeah. A, there's a rhyme or reason to that. Is there a rhyme or reason to that? I'm assuming. Well, I don't know about if there is to that detail, or maybe you just hit on the, the central thesis of his show. I'm not sure. 
I haven't seen it. But, Fruit Loops um, is the central thesis. Yes. Love it. Yeah. What are the other two shows? The other two shows, um, so three of the shows take place here in the museum, which we're uh, filming in right mm -hmm. now, the National Museum of the American Indian. Um, and my show takes place here, as well as two solo performances by Robert Owens Graygrass, is his name, uh, who is a Native American storyteller and actor and uh, performer. Um, his first show is called Ghostlands of an Urban Indian, Ooh. Uh, which is a very autobiographical piece uh, that deals with uh, issues of identity and what it means to grow up, uh, be a part of the res reservation community and grow up in the cities and being away from your, cut off from your, your ancestry and your heritage, things like that which are perfect for the theme of wattage, which is again new theater illuminating tradition and survival. And it's an absolutely perfect venue for that to take place, but yeah. um, when you're not dealing with you know, Native American issues, it's an interesting place for you all to have the rest of these shows. What is the partnership between you and, and this museum? Yeah, well, it's pretty exciting. Um, Vincent Scott and Janet Clark reached out to, to us, to Julianne Brienza, who's my uh, sort of co-director of Capital Fringe, and uh, they approached us about how we could partner together just to answer that question, uh, and the museum has an incredible state-of-the-art 300-seat uh, theater, a uh, 300-plus, wow. and it's totally tricked out with uh, a projector the size of a small sob and, <laughs> and a huge, uh, you know, lighting board and the whole thing, and uh, and, uh, and it's catwalks over the stage and everything, um, and so they're all set to produce uh, not only Native American. Uh, centric, if you will. I don't know if that's a term they like to use or not, but Cent or focused sure. theater that has to do with with Native American issues and identity and culture. Oh. Um, so they produce that, and they're that's part of their mission. But they also want the public in general to know that this is a place where really cool, interesting, fun, dramatic stuff can happen on stage as well. And so they reached out to to Fringe who uh, has a pretty good track record of getting people to come see shows. Absolutely. Well, it sounds fantastic. Tell everybody um, how they can come and see the show and how long they'll be running. Right. Well, the shows run Tuesday through Sunday uh, with evening performances and matinees on Saturday and Sunday. And you can visit uh, either website of either organization. The museum, which is uh, www, which you don't need to say anymore, dot si.edu yes. something Slash. like that or just google yeah the american indian we've Museum. got it right. <laughs> and then you can also come and you might get redirected from there to buy tickets which you can buy by visiting capitalfringe.org well it sounds very exciting very creative and illuminating thank you so much for being with us thanks a lot thanks and for as having always me. thank you for being <laughs> with us follow us on twitter be our fan on facebook and tell us who you'd like to see us dishing with Come back next time right here on The District Dish.